Hi, I'm Aurora from Pfizer Nordic and today I'm going to show you the essential tools for keeping up with your figures. So, uh, first we have basic bus brush. So, uh, with this brush, this is important because then you have a uh, talc powder and this is the thing where you keep the lint away and um, and if the skin feels sticky then apply some powder then the essential parts are tweezers because uh, most figures they have a uh, really small details like uh, belt buckles and shoelaces and where your fingers are just too big. So tweezers are the biggest help you can get or with buttons or things like that. Tweezers are always with me when I go like anywhere to take a photo shoot or dre uh, dress up my dolls. You need tweezers. I, I uh, like the straight ones and really sharp uh, bent ones because they are usable in different things. Yeah, tweezers are really essential. Uh, I think I use them most on shoelaces and belt buckles because otherwise it's just pain. And then good old tweezers because um, sometimes uh, the head sculpts are not easy to put on. So my method is that I usually pull the uh, neck plug away uh, from the head sculpt so I can warm it up. And when it's uh, warmed up, it's so much easier to put uh, into the neck peg of, of your figure. So um, yeah, these are good ones. Uh, there's some other uses for tweezers as well. Because um, sometimes, well, shoes are relatively easy to get on, but to get them off, it's, yeah, they, it can be a pain too. But with tweezers, it's so much easier to, well, help, uh, help to get the feet away from the shoe. So tweezers. And then... I also have a different kind of pens. Ugh. My tongue is twisting again, but uh, different kind of brushes. So uh, this one I use for baby oil and when I'm applying tattoos for my figures, because this ha has this really wide range. And uh, if you need to put like uh, little details on your doll, um, if you want to like emphasize color bones or something like that with the a pastel colors, you want to use the small pen pencil. Why well, I'm talking about pencil when it's brush, anyways. And then don't use ordinary combs or brushes for your doll's hair. This is my kids' old uh, toothbrush and. It's soft and it's easier. This is actually a tip from the hairdresser in the hobby. So use toothbrushes, soft toothbrushes for your doll's hair because ordinary combs, ordinary brushes, they um, make the figure's hair frizzle. They make it um, really hard, hard to handle. And it actually breaks the fabric, the hair fabrics. So it, if it's um, difficult to have managed before and um, you get more frizzle in it, then it's super difficult. So use the toothbrush for the hairs. You'll tag me later. So I was uh, talking about a couple of substances you need. Um, talcum powder. For babies usually these are uh, not scented and it's 
um, recommended that uh, you either use uh, baby talk or uh, cornstarch. I've tried both, but um, I think it's a matter of taste because uh, cornstarch, when you are putting cornstarch on your figure, it leaves kind of this uh, satin, pearly kind of uh, finish into your figure skin. And I personally don't like it. I I, loved, I liked more matte kind of feeling. And then, like you see, it's been in a lot of use, the baby oil. And um, depending where you are living, in different countries, you have different kind of products. And uh, this was a mistake I almost cost at me my <laughs> uh, ability to smell because like probably some of uh, you know I'm sensitive to smells and that's why I'm always mentioning and if there's something weird with figures so um, I was once in Italy and I had an emergency when I needed to, to take a photo shoot with uh, less clothed figures and then I noticed that I have really bad stains and I needed to do something about it so I ran into the um, nearest shop and um, bought wet baby wipes those are actually very good if you are doing outdoor photo shoots and you need to clean your figure if well like it falls or get us get us some rubbish all over and so those wet wipes are really great but uh, Italian ones they were scented and it was disgusting it was absolutely disgusting but anyway make sure your products are unscented and then you're totally okay because some of these scents you don't want to smell them on your dolls so baby oil what do you use it for uh, if you have a lot of stains or where it usually goes around wrists, uh, legs, maybe bum area or something like that, especially if you wear darker clothes, unwashed darker clothes on your figure. So uh, then you just uh, first you clean it and then you quite gently and um, put a uh, baby oil on it on the stained places and you just leave it be maybe a couple days then you check it out and if the stain is still there you apply more baby oil after a couple days it's gone and i promise it works i have done it so many times so baby oil this is way too big bottle i'd say this this would um be quite enough for like three or four people in hobby. So if you don't have a small kids at your home and you have friends nearby in the hobby, just uh, buy, buy one bottle and then you are more than happy to, well, share it. So um, this figure has been clothed with um, fake fur clothing and you can see there's a lot of lint and some fake things so with brush you can just brush it away but uh, especially at the summertime when it's uh, hot it may be more humid so then the skin of the doll might become um, stick and it's difficult to put clothes on if your figure is sticky and it's not very nice to handle either so we're taking baby powder i'm putting a little it to my hand okay this is this is probably very common use how you do it uh, among among women because most of us have put some makeup and some part of our lives but yeah and now I just put really light layer of powder on it and yep, yeah. no more lint, 
no more any stickiness. So this is the basic how to handle your door. So, uh, and as you can see, I have taken feet and head off while I'm handling the actual doll. <laughs> oh, this is a neat way. This is actually a very neat way because you don't have to use a lot. And a big brush like this, okay, it doesn't have to be a makeup uh, brush. It can be just uh, any kind of brush or, um, well, anyway, if it's uh, big and it's soft, then you are fine. But you just gently wipe it through. No more lints, no more stickiness. Remember armpits and creases and like that. And after that, it's so, so much easier to put the clothes on. And um, then I have something else, the blue tack. Actually, it shouldn't be put too close for the actual skin because uh, blue tack and the skin they actually might react together and um, but I have never had that problem so it's probably climate sensitive thing because well I'm up here in the north so um, we never had that kind of warm that would start to melt the figure and start um, start to affect the blue tack either way so um, we I'm using blue tack that some heads, even when you can change the neck, neck plugs, they sometimes they won't do. Either the neck is too long, or the head sits too high up or too low, and you just can't find the right balance. So then you can, can put some blue tack over the neck peg here, and uh, like my hero from Once Upon a Time, Fison Story, he is being sitting uh, on blue track for more than three years and I never have any kind of problem. But remember, this might be climate and sensitive thingy. So if you are living in a warmer place, be cautious. So this is all for the moment. And uh, I'm going to upload so you can see this live later if you miss something but what you need brush talc powder maybe some baby oil if you get stains easily or you like to have a dark clothes tweezers and pinches soft toothbrush for your doll's hair and optionally some little brushes but um, you don't need much and you can use your creativity whatever suits you but these are the basic things you need to well live with your doll and have a happy happy time and keep it keep it in shape without any breaks and making uh, dressing them up much much more easier okay you can uh, put me ideas if you want to, well, uh, explain video of something you want more information about, and I'll do it later on. But uh, for now, this is bye.